Sometimes when I look online and I find a lot of stuff about Eurovision, it generally focuses on the main characters. But if you ignore the smaller characters, if we call them smaller characters, you won't understand the influence and the role of the main characters. So, that being said, let's look at the character of Fleance in Macbeth. Now, who is Fleance? Arguably, Fleance is the walking, talking prophecy. Now, why do I say that? In Act 1, Scene 3, the witches tell Macbeth that, sorry, the witches tell Banco that Banco's lineage will be that of kings. So, Banco will be the father of kings. Now, Banco's son is Fleance. And it is Fleance and Banquo who Macbeth tries to kill once he becomes king. Because for him, they are a threat. Now, he succeeds in killing Banquo. But he does not succeed in killing Fleance. And this is when he starts seeing the ghost of Banquo. He gets a bit paranoid. He starts going a little bit crazy. Now, why is Fleance important? Fleance may have a really small role in the, in the play. But his role is massive when you think about how he is the first character who brings Macbeth to his knees. This brave soldier Macbeth, this ambitious warrior, whatever you want to call him. He's brought down to his knees by a young boy. Why? Because of the prophecies of the witches. Now this shows two things. It shows how much Macbeth believes in the prophecies. And number two, it shows us ultimately how powerless he is in front of these prophecies. Fleance himself is not strong, but what Fleance is about is very, very strong. He is the walking, talking prophecy. He is the walking, talking threat to the kingship of Macbeth.